Hello, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today is the second part of my three-part series on claiming your listing in Google Places. Please listen to this uh, video in its entirety because 99% of the queries I get about people who have challenges with Google Places as are a result of the issues that I bring up in this video. So let's begin. The first thing is in Australia you need to go to Google Maps and search for yourself to see if Google already has you in their um, database. They use yellow pages for the primary data and you can actually search in Google Maps on your phone number. So I'm using my Aussie Web phone number and I do a search and sure enough I see Aussie Web and if I click on more info here I can see that my listing has been owner verified. So that means I've claimed my listing. Um, so search on your phone number is one way. Uh, an alternative to that is to search on your business name. In either case, what you're trying to do is determine if Google already has you in their, in their directory. And if they do, what you want to do is claim it. So let's go back for a second here. And I'll show you, um, uh, let me do another Aussie Web search. And sure enough, here's Aussie Web Design, which isn't me. And I go in more information. And here you'll see it says business owner. So edit this place, and it says business provided by yellow. So the person who's got this listing has not claimed it yet. So what they would do is go to business owner to claim it, and it says here help find customers on Google Places, sign up now, and uh, away you go. This is already pre-propagated it with my data. Um, if you're a new person or a new company, you just go to um, uh, Google and search on Google Places, and you'll see it and you click through and again we end up at the same page. Now here's one of the first of two key things you must do. Whatever account, and it has to be a Google account, you use to claim your Google Place can never ever be changed or transferred. So if you use your personal email address that Google Places listing is tied to you forever. So I recommend everybody that they go and get your name dash google dash places at gmail.com and set up a new email account just for Google Places and that way you can delegate it to somebody in your company and it can it will stay with it will only be used for that accessing Google Places and nothing else. That's the first and most important thing. You can never transfer the email address that you register at Google Place with. Okay. Second thing is, once you get into the verification process, you will be given three choices for verifying your listing. One is by telephone. And please note, this is so that you get a PIN, it is going to use the phone number in your listing, and as soon as you submit that, it's going to ring you immediately. If somebody answers the phone and doesn't know what to do, they're going to hear a Google robot saying, your Google Places PIN number is 2079, and they're not going to write it down, and you're going to miss your opportunity. I recommend phone as the best option. Uh, you will show up on Google fastest with this option, and it's the easiest way to go. But you can verify by SMS, but note this thing. If you do verify by SMS, it could take up to six weeks for you to show up on Google Maps. So it's not fastest, although it is, um, it, it's reliable, it's not fastest. And if you do do a postcard, it will take two to three weeks, and it will go to the mailing address that was in your listing. Those are the three ways. I recommend the phone, but don't do it in the evening when you're not at your office. Don't do it when you're remote or away. Don't do it if it, the person answering the phone isn't going to be expecting the call. So those are the two key issues, the email address you use and the verification process. Now there may be a possibility that you make a mistake, and that's what this page is for. Verification issues, you put in your name, the email that you used to claim, your business name, and what happened. And here's all the information. This is an extremely difficult page to find, and so I've made it easier by putting up here for you in large type, pause this video, and uh, type that in, and you will get to that page that I just showed you so that you can, in fact, um, use this form to correct the fact that you didn't get your PIN, because you will need your PIN to claim your listing in Google Places. Thanks, and I look forward to you in the third series of videos on how to optimize your Google Place page.